Leave it. Yeah. Good. That was great. Leave it. Yeah. You might need to move it around a little bit. Oh, there you go. Good. Leave it. Yeah. Leave it. Yes. Leave it. Yes. Leave it. Yes. There's this funny thing where he'll like just stare at it and I'm like, okay, mm -hmm. leave it. And I'm like, look away. <laughs> leave yeah. it. Leave it. <laughs> yes. Good. Yeah. Good. Okay, go ahead and pick that that one up. So let's talk for a minute um, about you know uh, training a leave it that will eventually be useful. Um, so usually when we're training leave it, you know the dog is really good at it. Um, and then when we try to use it in real life, they totally don't listen at all. And then we get frustrated, like, why isn't this working? And usually the reason is that it doesn't seem enough like the training games for the dogs to get it. So he's starting to get a good response. So we want to start to just make a few things. One at a time, we're going to make some things a little bit more like real life. So eventually you'll be able to use it with the cigarette butt or the bone or the you know, nutshell or whatever that he's um, interested in on the ground. So one of the things um, is that the cue has to sound the same. So when we were just doing, usually when we're doing the training, we're like, leave it, you know, and then if he's going for a cigarette butt or your cell phone or a piece of glass, you know, we're more likely to have some tension in our voice, like some fear for some frustration or some stress. So um, think about how you would say leave it if he was just about to like pick up something on a walk um, and try giving the cue that way. Leave it. Yes. Good. Leave it. Yes. Good. Leave it. Leave it. Yes. Leave it. Yes. Leave it. Yes. Go get it. <laughs> Sometimes they get confused about which one they're supposed to leave and which one they're supposed to get. Leave it. Yes. Leave it, leave it, yes. Leave it, leave it, yes. Can you just shift the computer over so I can see him a little better? There you go, okay, great, thank you. Leave it. Yes. 
Good. Leave it. Good. Yes. See if you can say leave it right when he looks at the treat. So wait until he look when as soon as he looks at the treat, you say leave it. Right. You can pick it up and put it back down if he doesn't see you do it. Leave it. Yes. Yeah. Good. It's behind you, dog. I was trying to make you move. <laughs> yeah, that's good. Definitely move him around. Yeah, go find it. <sighs> Leave it? Yes. Leave it? Good. Yes. There's something over there. Leave it? Yes. Oh, sorry, buddy. Oopsie. Nathan, <laughs> over here. We'll get it from the closet after, Stephen. Leave it? Yes. Leave it? Yes. Yeah. Leave it? Yes. Yeah. Leave it? Yes. Leave it? Yes. Come here. Leave it? Yes. Leave it? Leave it? Yes. Leave it. Yes. Leave it. Yes. Good. And remember to try to give your cue somewhat realistically. Leave it. Yes. Leave it? Yes. Leave it? Yes. Leave it? Yes. Oops. Okay. That looks great. Um, so you can give him a break. Um so that looks really good. I would say the two things to focus on while you're training uh, that now are um, to give the cue realistically and um, to try to say leave it as soon as he looks at the treat. Um, but you're doing a really great job of moving him around to where you're tossing the treat so he has to go find it. Um, and if you can, excuse me, um, this is great now for you to train this all over the house. That's the other thing I would say, like train it in the living room, train it in the bathroom, you know, train it into the kitchen, like train this same training game everywhere. Because this is another thing that dogs often, um, they think like the, leave it is the game that we do in the house, but it's not a thing that we do on the walk. Um, so train it everywhere. Um, and you might find that you have to go back. I love how you did the warm up at the beginning where you first you did it in your hand and then you did it lower. Um, so that's great. So when you go to a new location, warm him up. Um, mm -hmm. And if you can, you can also do a training session outside, like do one on the porch. Mm -hmm. I think that would be great. Um, because, oh, Kismet sees Grayson in the thing and he thinks there's another puppy in here. Find it. Um, because then you're starting to get closer to the great outdoors, which is where you really need the, the leave it. 
Um, so you might need to like start all the way back at, in kindergarten with like the treat in your closed fist, holding it to his nose. Um, so just warm him up and see how he's doing and sort of carry it through. Okay. So that looks good. Any questions about anything from today? No. Okay. Anything else that you wanted to um, ask about 